we've done is we've actually just plugged in our new MG4 Excite 51 for the first charge since we got the car. We ran the car down to about 65%. It was delivered with 100%. And as you can see here, we've got one, two, three green lights. That shows you roughly, yeah, roughly a visual indication of how much charge the car is currently at. This is the MG supplied slow charger which we are plugging into a standard uh, PowerPoint. Just like that, just like what you plug your car into. Uh, sorry, what you plug your phone into. It's a bit of a big brick. There it is. A couple of lights there for power, charging, and a fault light, which isn't on. Now, don't expect too much from a slow charger because, you know, it is kind of slow. Um, but it's at least provided with the car, unlike Tesla's now which don't give you any kind of charger with your current cars. Now, the thing is, it is going to take you quite a while, I guess, to charge your car with the slow charger. Why is that? Because currently we are only getting 1.3 kilowatt out of the uh, provided charger. Uh, it says if we're going to charge it to 100%, it's going to take <laughs> about 12 hours. That's from the... Uh, 68% that we're at currently. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We're not going out tonight. It's a wet and rainy day. And what we're going to do, um, you know, in a few days or a week or whenever, we'll end up plugging the MG into the regular Tesla charger. This is the Tesla mobile charger version. I don't know. I don't know whatever the current version is. And again, this one is also plugged into a standard 10 amp uh, power plug. So normal one the 15 amp has got a thicker ground plug which is that long one at the bottom uh i've charged this tesla a lot using that mobile charger we get about two kilowatts out of it so i believe we should get the same kind of result so what happens when we plug this car into that we're going to find out okay so we are now at around um 60% or whatever on the MG4. Now you can charge it any time, of course, but we wanted to run it down a little bit. We're going to try now with this charger, not the MG1 anymore, this is the Tesla charger. It's also a 10 amp socket. We're going to see whether or not we get a higher charge rate on this charger than the MG1. Alright, so here we are. We're going to plug in. You can see we've got three out of four LED lights indicating roughly the current state of charge. Plug that in, turn to blue, don't know if it comes out in the camera or not, but when we look here at the app, we want it to say, uh, well it says not charging at the moment, how about we click on start charging. Now we've gone to green there, and I hope at some stage it's going to tell us what kind of kilowatt charge we're getting. Okay, we'll have a look inside the car now. <laughs> what the main display will show us. Slow charging, as expected. Expected tomorrow, finish time, hmm, 6.30, which is about 12 hours from where we are right now. Uh, let's click on that and find out what the details are. We are currently at that rate uh, of charge. That's how much remaining driving distance that we have. That is apparently only the charging rate we're getting. But when we look at the app, if we can focus there, uh, it actually says 1.6 kilowatt. Now it was only 1.2 on the MG charger. So if we go by what it said on the app before and after, we are getting a higher charge rate using the Tesla charger versus the MG one. The final test will be the Tesla charger on a 32 amp single phase tail. We'll see if we get a lot more than 1.3 or the 1.6 that we have here. Final test now. We're going to charge the MG4 with our Tesla charger, Tesla mobile charger. What we have here, 32 amp, 5 pin, single phase connection to the house. And uh, hopefully this cable will reach. Let's turn it on. All right. white lights we have about 50% charge there and then all right now the 
car does say we're still slow charging, but it is a lot faster than before. We're at currently at 50%, roughly about 200k of range. But here's the big number, 5.8 kilowatt. Remember on the MG4 provided charge, we're only getting about 1.2, 1.3 or something. So we're getting four, five times as much charge using the Tesla charger with a 32 amp tail. Now the interesting thing is, if you look here on the car, 5.8 kilowatt, you look at the equivalent app, and it is um, 6 kilowatt. So I'm not sure who to believe exactly. Um, but again, if we use the app as our benchmark measurement, we're only getting 1.2 or 1.3 on this MG slow charger, and a lot more on a Tesla mobile charger with a 32 amp 5 pin single phase connection. The MG4, they have a range of different maximum charging rate on AC for um, all of them, except for the long range, 77, all of them, 51, 64, the maximum charge rate is, I believe, 6.6 .6 kilowatt, and I think 11 on the uh, long range. So there you go. If you want to kind of maximize your charging at home without going all the way to a wall charger, you can get a Tesla mobile charger with a 32 amp connection and get 5.8 kilowatt or 6 kilowatt, depending on who you believe. Uh, Charging will be complete by about 4.30 p.m. today. Uh, give it, what's it, four, four hours from now? Four hours for charging 50 to 100%. Uh, not too bad. We've got other cars we can drive today if we need to go out. But a lot faster than the slow charger. So those are the different options you have for slow charging. Slow charging your car at home, ranging from the MG car charger to a Tesla mobile charger. You can get a range of aftermarket uh, charging supplies too, 10 amp, 15 amp, and I will put a link to a few that I might recommend in the description below. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video.